as we know, um, Eidos, your 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 Busunli, man. I'm sorry, man, if I'm butchering homie name, man. But Yerbo, I always call him Yerbo. Um, I followed him a few times. I used to watch. I watched a few of his fights, like a few months back. Thought he was a pretty good fighter, man. Um, he is in a coma, and I had said in my video, I said maybe they they gave him a medical induced coma because sometimes when you got blood on the brain, they'll they'll put you in a coma to to alleviate some of the the, the, the pressure and the buildup and and work on you and stuff like that. You gonna have to cut like cut his skull and. It's just crazy, man. Um, but I I had thought that he was like he slipped into the coma on his own. So by them putting him in a medically induced coma, that is a good sign. That is a good sign. Um more than likely he should be okay, but he might not be the same. He probably ain't gonna fight no more. But I think he should pull through it. That's I I had thought initially he just went was home and he fell into a coma. That's not good. But initial report saying that they put him in a medically induced coma. So there's some hope there. So pray for the guy, man. Pray for uh, Ados. Hopefully he pulled through it, man. Which leads to my next point, man, about boxers being called bums. Now I've touched on this in the past. Y'all know how I feel about that. I feel really strong about calling these dudes bums. Now here's the thing. Now when people call fighters tomato kids, that is a soft. That that is that don't sound as bad as calling somebody a bum. When you call them a bum, that's like. You saying, damn, bro. They they spent all their lives, most most of their young lives, training to fight and put their life on the line. And it don't really mean shit. That's 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 what I get from it when you call them a bum. Like you you not respecting or you're not appreciating them actually stepping in that ring, risking their life, bro. You know, that's that shit this is a dangerous sport, bro. Boxing, MMA. I would even say boxing might be more dangerous, bro, because you don't even be hearing about MMA fighters dying and shit like that. I keep telling people boxing gloves are worse to get hit with than MMA gloves, man. You got all that all that mass. People think it's a soft glove. Bro, listen. I I'm, I told you I've laced up the gloves three times in my whole life. And I did not like getting punched at all with gloves, bro. I I I've been in like 30 street fights. Nose broke, sliced, all kind of shit, right? And those punches don't affect me as much as a punch with gloves did, bro. I could take a punch, like a street fight, like I got a pretty good chin. I've been punched a few times in fights, man. And I've been wobbled in fights. I've knocked people out in fist fights. I've never been knocked out in a fight, but I've been close to knocked out. Side blind, blind sighted. I've blind sighted dudes, and a lot of times, man, you got to put force into that shit. Sometimes, me, me, me being heavy handed, I really don't have to do that, you know, even at this weight because I'm bigger than I naturally am. My natural weight is like 175 pounds, 180, but now I'm like 205 pounds, you know what I mean? But give or take. The thing is, when you get hit with gloves, it's worse, bro. Because you got, like I said, all that mass plus the the the, the energy is coming with it. So that's just slamming into your face, man. You ever got hit with a pillow? Did somebody ever hit you with a pillow? You feel? I know a pillow is soft, right? That's a perfect example. A pillow is soft, and you would feel like a pillow can't really do damage to you. Stand there and let somebody swing it. You ever been in a pillow fight? Get hit with a pillow, and your whole your whole neck, your head just go like this, and and you be dizzy sometimes because it's knocking your equilibrium off. It don't have to be a hard object. It could just be the, it's the mass, you know what I'm saying, behind this shit, bro. So you punch somebody with your fist, you don't really see people get dazed a lot when they get punched with their fist, with with a fist. You know, me, I've I've never been dazed, late dazed, dazed. I've been like slightly put out of it from a punch. It was because I didn't see it coming. Um. But just going head up with somebody and then they just they hit me in my face, I'll, I'll eat right, I'll walk right through that shit. Bleeding and everything. You know what I mean? So, you gotta respect these dudes, man. These dudes, they don't have to do this, man. They, they, 
They sacrificed a big part of their life to to give you entertainment while earning a check. That is why I don't really complain a lot about these dudes getting the money that they get. Only thing is though, when they're getting a lot of this money, it makes them a little a lot of them get lazy. They don't want to fight. You know, they don't want to fight. But then damn man, you gotta think about it on the other end. Like they getting millions of dollars, some of them, right? Like, why would you want to fight three, four times getting punched in the head like that? When you got you comfortable, you got these millions and you can sit on it for a little bit, right? You can sit on it for a while. Think about this. Like, a lot of these fighters that's making millions, they don't have to fight anymore. You know what I'm saying? They don't. They they Canelo, all these dudes. As much as I rag on Canelo, as much as I rag on a lot of fighters, Errol, none of these dudes got to fight no more. If they don't want to, so in two or three fights, they were set. They was already making millions. Rather, it's three million, taxes, fuck all that. They millionaires, bro. They don't have to fight anymore, especially Canelo. But they still fight. So what's making them still fight? The love of the sport. The love of the sport. They don't, uh, dude, they can take their money, invest in businesses, and ride off into the sunset and never work, and never get in the ring again, bro. Floyd Mayweather, I think he's a different story. I don't want to talk about that right now. But y'all know where I'm going with that. But that's a different story with Floyd Mayweather. I really don't want to get into that. But I had to bring that up. But you have to respect these guys, man. They're not bubs, dude. It's just that there's levels to this shit. You got lower level fighters, mid level, high level, and then you got to be elite. I think it's like four levels. The lower tier fighters, they got where they are today. It's thou Do you understand how many? Put it like this, even the top 10, top 15, do you know how many fucking fighters is under them? Do you know how many fighters is in each division? There's thousands, there's thousands of fighters in welterweight division. There's thousands of heavyweights. So if Wilder fights somebody number 12, so what? If, if Terrence Crawford fights somebody number six, David Avenesia, you think it's easy to get to a number six spot? Now I know sometimes it's favoritism, dudes get bumped way the fuck up. I ain't talking about that. I'm talking about for the most part. These dudes are where they are for a reason. A lot of them. Now, these channels that insist on calling fighters bums. Now, the tomato can thing, it don't sound as bad as a bum, bro. Tomato can make it seem like, all right, he's he's a he's a he's a boxer. I respect it, but he ain't he ain't he ain't no skilled, really, really skilled boxer. But when you really break this shit down, all fighters do have a skill. Even if it's a fighter that got like 20 losses, like 40 losses and six wins. He got some kind of skill, bro, to even win six fights. I know, I know you know, you're looking at it a different way. I'm looking at it different from a lot of people. He, he, he got six fights and 40 losses. But how do you, do you know what it takes to even, to beat those six? You can think, I think, I think like that. I think like that. So you got these channels, especially these pro space channels. They say bum fighting a bum. But Chris Algeria wasn't bums. The arrow fought. They constantly call their fighters bums. Now I'm not calling Chris Algeria a bum. I'm just I'm just going by their fucking narrative. These dudes always call their fighters bums. He's a fucking bum. He's a fucking bum. Question is though. Can you beat him? I'll wait. In the words of my E Thriller, I'll wait. I will fucking wait. Can y'all beat him? Now, I know sometimes we slip up, we might call them bums. Sometimes that happens in the heat of the moment, shit like that. But in the grand scheme of things, these dudes ain't bums, bro. A lot of these guys have been training since they was five, six years old to fight. Wilder, in Wilder's case, people call Wilder a bum. No, man. I mean, listen, he just don't fight like we want him to fight. He's not a bum, dude. To knock out 40-something people that's more skilled than him, by the way, a lot of the dudes that he knocked out that people call bums, they've been fighting longer than Wilder. Wilder started fighting when he was 19 years old. So to get in the ring and knock out 40-something people that have been fighting longer than you, it got to take some kind of skill set, though. You can't dismiss You can't dismiss that. His right hand is his skill set. I know y'all don't want to hear that shit because a lot of us 
we look at boxing like, yo, you gotta fight like this. You gotta keep your head like this. That's not how he fight. That's that does it. That's what made boxing so great. Everybody bring their old skill set to the table, man. So I gotta respect everybody's skill set, man. That's not that's just me. Everybody don't have to feel like that. That's just how I feel about the shit. You know? So the call of bums, I think that's a little disrespectful. A lot disrespectful because as you can see with Patrick Day, uh Dada Shav, now Ados uh Abbasanoli, Jermasanoli. Trying to pronounce that name right, man. It gets me every time. But you see what happened to him. Hopefully he pulled through. Patrick Day lost his life. There was a Mexican woman. She lost her life in the ring not too long ago. Uh Dada Shev died in the ring. Good good people that that signed up to put their life on the line and display how good they are in the sport of boxing. You gotta respect that, man. And if you can't beat these so-called bums, you got no right to call them a bum. Yeah, I know a lot of these channels. Yeah, no, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna fight them. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna sue them. I'm gonna sue them. No, I'm not gonna fight them. I'm just gonna fill them with holes. That's 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 what they would say. They just fill them with holes instead of being a fucking man, studding up, taking your ass whooping or giving an ass whooping. First thing, you know, I'm gonna fill them with holes. Or I'm gonna run to the law. Run to the lawyer. I'm gonna sue. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. These is men, right? These is men. But you know. Like I said, I've had my fair share of fights, man. If y'all see right here, I, mean, I can see it. See that? Look at that right there. You see that? Yeah, box cutter right across the nose right there. You know why? Because I was giving it. I had these was too nice for niggas. They couldn't handle that. That's what men do, man. We ain't got to run to a weapon. Even though we got weapons, we don't have. that don't have to be the first thing you run to is a fucking gun. The first thing you ain't got to run to is a knife. Real men, we was born with these, bro. We wasn't born with a knife or a gun. Those weapons is for when shit get heavy. When motherfuckers got weapons. That's the only time you use a weapon. Other than that, man, be a fucking man. If motherfucker hit you, rather a boxer or a martial artist, fight that motherfucker, man. Stop being a pussy. You know what I mean? But that's all I got. When y'all dudes that call these dudes bums, especially the extreme channels, when y'all call these dudes bum, and y'all know y'all can't beat them at all, shut your mouth, bro. Shut your mouth. Because they'll make you look like the bum that you are in the ring if you stepped in the ring with the so-called bums. Just my take. It's your boy Rebel Life Boxing. I catch y'all the next one, and I'm out. Peace out.